Specialist 1. As of 2020, new members of the US Space Force have attended and graduated from Air Force basic training as part of the Air Force. And upon transitioning, they receive the rank of Specialist, officially designated as Specialist 1. On February 1, 2021, the Space Force formally established the Specialist rank for enlisted personnel at pay grades E1 through E4, replacing the Air Force's Airman Basic designation at the E1 level. Specialist 1 Guardians, whether transitioning from the Air Force or entering directly into the Space Force, must complete the same basic training as other new recruits. As the lowest enlisted rank in the Space Force, Specialist 1 personnel focus on completing basic military training and initial technical training for their assigned specialty. Specialist 2. Being a Specialist 2 in the US Space Force signifies a commitment to military culture and the mastery of one's occupational specialty, particularly in space systems operations. Following graduation from Air Force basic training, Guardians entering the Space Force must complete specialized education in this field. The rank of Specialist 2 replaced the Air Force's Airman designation, and promotion to this level is typically automatic, provided the service member meets the required standards of performance and conduct with the primary promotion criteria being six months of time in grade and time in service. As they progress, specialists too are expected to adapt fully to military life and develop proficiency in their assigned roles within the Space Force. Specialist 3. Guardians at the Specialist 3 level are considered to have fully transitioned into the Space Force and military life, with responsibilities focused on executing their assignments efficiently while continuing to develop their professional skills. At this stage, they are expected to perform routine tasks and gain expertise in space systems operations. Promotion from Specialist 2 to Specialist 3 requires a minimum of 10 months of time in grade. Specialist 4. Space Force Specialist 4 Guardians are expected to uphold professional standards, serving as positive role models for their subordinates and peers. As a mid-tier enlisted rank, Specialist 4 marks a transition from journeyman to non-commissioned officer, with increasing responsibilities in leadership and technical expertise. Managers rely on these guardians to continue their education and demonstrate the competence, integrity and pride necessary for future leadership roles. Promotion from Specialist 3 to Specialist 4 in the Space Force requires either 28 months of time in grade or 36 months of time in service with 20 months time in grade. Sergeant. On February 1, 2021, the United States Space Force established the rank of Sergeant for the pay grade E5, replacing the Air Force's Staff Sergeant designation. This change aligned the Space Force's E5 rank structure with that of the Army and Marine Corps where sergeants hold the grade of E5. As the first level of the non-commissioned officer ranks in the Space Force, sergeants are expected to be at least a level 5 journeyman or level 7 craftsman in their specialty and actively refine their technical and leadership abilities. Sergeants hold supervisory responsibilities and are required to develop their expertise in both technical and managerial roles. This rank typically requires significant experience, with the average active duty time to achieve it being nearly four years. Technical Sergeant The Technical Sergeant is the second level of the non-commissioned officer ranks in the Space Force. Technical Sergeants play a critical role in the career development of their subordinates, ensuring they have the necessary tools, training and support to achieve peak performance and mission success. Promotion to Technical Sergeant in the Space Force follows similar requirements to that of Staff Sergeant, with a minimum of five years of time in service, 23 months of time in grade, and the attainment of a seven skill level. Master Sergeant The Master Sergeant is a senior non-commissioned officer rank in the United States Space Force. Master Sergeants possess advanced technical expertise and leadership responsibilities overseeing operations and mentoring subordinates. Promotion requires a seven skill level, at least eight years of service and 24 months in grade. The promotion process mirrors that of the Air Force with an average time to reach this rank exceeding 17 years. Senior Master Sergeant. The Senior Master Sergeant serves as a superintendent or manager with significant leadership responsibilities. Promotion is highly competitive 
with only 2% of the enlisted force allowed to reach E8. Eligibility requires at least 11 years of service and 20 months in grade. The promotion process mirrors the Air Force using weighted Airman promotion system points and a central evaluation board. This board assesses candidates on competence, leadership, performance, experience, achievements, and education. The typical time in service for promotion exceeds 20 years. Chief Master Sergeant Chief Master Sergeant is the second highest enlisted rank in the Space Force. Chief Master Sergeants serve as senior enlisted leaders in management, leadership, and advisory roles. Their Chief Enlisted Manager designation allows them to serve in any managerial capacity. Promotion is highly competitive, with only 1% of active duty personnel reaching E9. Achieving this rank typically requires over 22 years of service. Chief Master Sergeant of the Space Force the Chief Master Sergeant of the Space Force is the highest enlisted position in the Space Force, serving as the Senior Advisor to the Chief of Space Operations and the Secretary of the Air Force. Appointed by the Chief of Space Operations, this role holds a special pay grade above Chief Master Sergeant and requires at least 22 years of service, including three years as a Chief Master Sergeant. The position advocates for enlisted personnel, advising on welfare, readiness, morale, and professional development. Originally titled Senior Enlisted Advisor of the Space Force, it was renamed on February 1, 2021. The first to hold this role, Chief Master Sergeant Roger A. Tauberman, was sworn in on April 3, 2020, after serving as the Senior Enlisted Leader of U.S. Space Command. Second Lieutenant Second Lieutenant is an entry-level officer rank in the Space Force, typically held by graduates of the Air Force Academy, ROTC, Direct Commissions, or Officer Candidate School. They serve as flight leaders or project managers, gaining experience in space operations and satellite systems. Most remain in this rank for at least 24 months before becoming eligible for promotion to First Lieutenant. First Lieutenant First Lieutenants have similar responsibilities to Second Lieutenants, but with greater leadership roles and higher pay. They lead small teams, manage specialized projects, and may still be completing technical training. After 24 months in grade, they become eligible for promotion to Captain. Typically, they have served for at least two years, demonstrating competence in their initial assignments and gaining experience in space operations. Captain. Captains oversee larger teams and critical projects. They play a key role in space mission planning and execution, often working closely with both military and civilian space agencies. Captains typically earn their promotion after four years of service and generally hold the rank for at least two years before becoming eligible for further advancement. Major. In the Space Force, field grade officer ranks start at major. At the major level, Officers are responsible for managing and supervising others, typically operating at the squadron or wing level. Majors serve as key staff officers for brigade-sized forces. They often work as senior project managers and unit commanders, playing a vital role in strategic planning and mission execution. All majors are required to pursue a master's degree or higher to graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Lieutenant Colonels command units or hold key staff positions, developing operational strategies and ensuring mission success. These officers assist the Colonel in carrying out their duties. Their responsibilities include missile defense, battle space awareness, technical intelligence analysis, and space acquisition policy. Colonel, Colonels in the Space Force hold some of the highest leadership positions, often commanding entire bases, leading Space Force Deltas, or serving as senior staff officers. Colonels play a key role in shaping Space Force strategy. The Colonel's office focuses on improving base efficiency and quality of life. Colonels oversee training facilities and may command up to 4,000 military personnel. Brigadier General Brigadier generals oversee large military installations and senior personnel at the Pentagon and other key organizations. They handle leadership and administrative duties, participate in morale-boosting activities, and ensure operational effectiveness. The promotion process for generals starts with a group of senior officers selecting potential candidates and ends with the president making the final decision. Generals must retire after 30 years of service or five years at the rank of Brigadier General.
Major General. Major Generals provide critical leadership in advancing space capabilities, coordinating with other military branches and government agencies, and driving innovation within the Space Force. As a two-star rank, the promotion process to Major General is similar to that of Brigadier General, involving a selection by a board of general officers and final appointment by the President. Lieutenant General Lieutenant Generals oversee major installations and outposts, playing a key role in leadership, morale and strategic direction for their troops. Appointed by the President from the existing pool of Air Force General Officers, their rank is temporary and removed upon the completion of their term. General The rank of General is the highest in the Space Force, reserved for the most experienced and capable leaders. These four-star officers hold critical positions, such as the Chief of Space Operations, and hold top leadership positions at the Pentagon and other key institutions. After the Space Force was established, General John W. Raymond, then the commander of Air Force Space Command, was appointed as the first Chief of Space Operations. He became the first official member of the new service and its first General Officer. In the Space Force, there is no rank above General.